Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 270. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 268 to 265. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to do you use conditional formatting, but the logic for the cell is going to come from a different cell. So this is a common thing that people want to do. For us, we want to highlight just the amount, but only for the days 228. So the logic of how we're going to format this cell right here has nothing to do with this cell. It has to do with another cell. Highlight the whole range here. In 2007, you go to Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, New Rules. And then you click right there and right there. In 2003, you go to the Format menu and then uh, Conditional Formatting. The keyboard shortcut is Alt-OD. Alt-OD, much faster. Now I'm going to um, click right here and we need our formula, True, False. Now, when you do Conditional Formatting, you always got to be aware of the active cell. If the active cell, the light colored cell, was down here, you'd have to uh, um, use the corresponding cell uh, over here. But since our active cell is here, we're going to click here because that's where the, the logic is you know, or the date that we want. This cell reference, I'm going to hit F4, 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 needs to be relative. And then I need to say equals. And I have this typed in here, so I can easily change it. And that one needs to be absolute. So you see, this formula will be in memory copied down. And so each cell will have a true or false in memory. The format will say uh, red fill, or in the older version it was patterns. Font, I'm going to say. Uh, white. Then click OK, click OK, click OK. So there we go. If we were to change this to 1 slash 1 slash 2009, that goes away. If we were to say 2 slash 28, that would become highlighted. Now, instead of a date, let's see what happens when we do a name. Active cell, Alt OD. We're going to look for Daisy May. And the uh, corresponding cell is active cell. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to do the active cell right in the middle. And this is how often how people mess up conditional formatting. Their cell is some highlighted somewhere else, active cell, and they start building it here. But I'll show you how to do it this way. Alt OD, it doesn't matter where it is. And our cell, since the active cell is right there, I'm just going to click zoop, right there. It needs to be relative, so I hit F4 three times. Equals. And then I click on the cell with Daisy May. I'm going to say Format. And I'm going to say uh, this beautiful blue right there, Font. Font color white. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And sure enough, there we go. If we were to change this to Daisy May, here's a great trick. Click there and then hit F9, because I want to, uh, F9 evaluates it. All right, so that's how to create conditional formatting based on something in a different cell. All right, see you next trick.